quantity of plutonium was stolen by gorillas last night. I guess they want to trade it for bananas, huh? They were gorillas, not gorillas, Kent. <laughs> oh, of course. I always get apes and monkeys mixed up. Hey, Doc! Doc? Hello, anybody home? Einstein? Here, boy. Ah, whoa! Ow! Ah, Doc, this is disgusting. Seriously, where are you? Oh, well, I guess I can kick back for a while. Or maybe I can finish off that amplifier the Doc's been working on. Let's see what this bad boy can do. That baby hits one of these, you'll hit 88 miles per hour and whoosh! Time travel is that simple? Yes! If you ignore the complex bits, such as 1.21 gigawatts of electricity needed to power the flux capacitor, I've set the time circuits for November 5th, 1955, the day I invented time travel! Great Scott! It's the Libyans! They found me! I borrowed something from them. Quickly, hide! I'll draw them off. It's me, Marty! Open up! Do I know you? If you're here about the strange lights and noises, then that was my neighbor. No, Doc, it's me, Marty! I'm from the future! Look, I can explain everything. Great Scott! I know, it, it's heavy duty, Doc. And, and there's something else. After we finish recording... No! Don't tell me! You must never know too much about your own future. Speaking of which, we have to get you back to yours. Where are you going to get 1.21 gigawatts of electricity in 1955? From the lightning, Marty.
Wild shopping list. That better do it. If we could harness the lightning and channel it into the time travel machine, it will supply all the power you can need. All you need to do is connect these cables, Marty. Then, when the lightning strikes, it will travel straight down into the machine. Hope you read that shopping list. He's not moving. Oh no, 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 God, no! Thanks for the loot, Marty. You really saved my bacon. What happened to never knowing about your future? Well, I figured, what the heck? See some ID, please, sir. My card. Gas. Breaking news here in Gotham as the Joker once again plunges the city into chaos, this time aided and abetted by a group of less memorable villains. Chad Brookingham here with the details. Big bomb, power plant, everyone doomed. Thanks, Chad. And we've just been informed that the mayor has agreed to meet with the Joker in the Gotham Energy Facility to hear his demands. More on that as it develops. In the meantime, back to our lead story. Chad? Thank you, Stacy. We're now entering hour 21 of Kitten in a Tree. Guys? Uh, the thing with the Joker? <gasps> Madam Mayor, are you ready? Madam Mayor! Thanks for dropping by. Thing to say to you, Joker. Well, you better make it fast. Do you like to gamble? Oh, I certainly do. When playing roulette. Yes. Always bet on black. Batman! Get him! With pleasure. Now, how to decide what to do? Just put the coin already. Fine. Heads. Now bring me his!
Ronin. Cannon, perfect. Now I just need to find something to put in it. Computer a cold <laughs> to slow you down. Did you bring any chicken soup, Batman? Chicken soup for a virus. Prepare to be rebooted with my actual boat. Elevator inoperative. Have a nice day. <laughs> you coward joker. A power cell. I may be able to power up the auxiliary elevator controls with that. I'll need to use that crane. skills joker Look your time bats we were getting worried we oh sorry where are my manners <laughs> your impending doom meet batman batman meet your impending doom <laughs> But it's about to be a wash. No, don't! He's already had a bath this week! <laughs> oh, no! You got some of them on me! Do you have any idea how much dry cleaning costs? I don't, because I always leave without paying. Well, there's only one problem. Who's gonna defuse the bomb? It's gotta be one or the other, Batman. Save the city, or catch your greatest enemy. <laughs> you can't do both. You think you are my greatest enemy? Yes! Who else drives you to one-up them the way I do? Bane. No, he doesn't! Are you seriously saying that there is nothing, nothing special about us? Let me tell you something, sister. There is no us. Never has been. Never will be. You're a clown who means nothing to me. 
Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta defuse that bomb. Master Bruce, you're going to be late for Commissioner Gordon's retirement gala. But I was Batmaning. Fine. And you're not going as Batman. You are so unreasonable. We're joined by Superman for his analysis on this evening's event. <sighs> Superman, how would you have dealt with your arch enemy? Oh, he's not my arch enemy. Well, of course, I wouldn't have to, Stacy, because I banished General Zod to the Phantom Zone. <laughs> We're almost there, sir. And now we are there. Do try not to cause a scene, sir. Whatevs. Thank you, you're right, I am handsome. One for you, sure. Whoa. Miss Gordon, thank you so much for inviting all of our orphanage. And congratulations on your new job. Hey, kid, who was that? Whoa, Bruce Wayne! No, that's me. You're Gotham's number one orphan. Look, can you tell me who that is or not? Mm hmm? Uh, yes, yes I can. Uh, but first, let me tell you a little something about myself. Night. What didn't happen, sir? <gasps> Gotham City is still reeling from the events of last night, when the Joker handed himself and his fellow <clears throat> villains over to the authorities after gate-crashing Commissioner Gordon's retirement party. Wait a minute. Joker gave himself up. Indeed. Amazing scenes. And on the subject of the gala, all of us here at the network would like to congratulate Barbara Gordon on becoming our new police commissioner. I'm sure Jim Gordon looked far and wide before recommending his own daughter for the job. Convenient timing. I'm surprised you forgot. After all, you also adopted an orphan at the gala, and rather overindulged yourself with lobster, I see. Wait, what was that? The lobster? No, the orphan. Ah, yes, Master Grayson. Apparently you agreed to adopt him at the gala. I think I would remember. Uh-oh. Well, he's getting unadopted. Oh dear, that will be awkward. Why? Because I just this moment let him into the back. Yeah! <laughs> Alfred. And into your heart. <laughs> oh my gosh! This is the back cave. Oh ho ho! Huh? You're Batman! This is the back computer! <laughs> hey, don't touch that. Huh? You'll trip the security protocols. Ooh, what do they do? <laughs> that. Yeah. Computer, how do I put the Joker in the Phantom Zone? Joker can only be put in the Phantom Zone using the Phantom Zone projector. Current location of the Phantom yeah. Zone projector is at Superman's Fortress of Solitude deep inside the atomic cauldron. However, biometric analysis indicates only an object with a 2.31 centimeter circumference can enter the cauldron. I can't fit in there with these darn shoulders. I'm way too buff. Additionally, once inside the cauldron, multiple Kryptonian defense systems engage, including the acid mode, ring of napalm, jaws of death, chance of total mission failure is 110%. Those are not great odds. Wait a minute. Hey, kid. Yes, sir. Ah. Mm, follow me. <laughs> oh. By the way, it's not cool to borrow people's clothes without asking first. Sorry. Uh, 
Shouldn't we check with Bruce Wayne that it's okay for me to go with you? Nah, it's okay. We've actually got shared custody of you. <laughs> Diggity dog! Okay, here's the plan. I'll keep Superman busy while you sneak into that vent and get the projector. Got it? Copy that! Batman. Hey, everyone. Batman's here. You're having a party? You didn't get your invite? We were all wondering why you weren't here. Weren't we? Yes, yes we, we were. were. Well, it must have got lost in the mail. So that's that completely explained. Uh, huh. <laughs> He's my plus one. Enjoy the party. Well, you messed that plan up, kid. Now I'll have to find another way into the Atomic Cauldron. I believe in you, Bat Dad. I'm gonna need to do some detective work. Trail ends here. Oh, must have been overpowered by the smell of dog. I didn't say that you stunk. Although, that music you're playing certainly does. If you want to get this party going, you should play some of my dope beats instead. Wait, hang on. I'm picking up a signal below the subharmonics. Ooh, is that good or bad? Did that help? Maybe. If I use a little bat ingenuity, which is way better than regular ingenuity. Oh. Come on. We should be able to get through that door now. Pinata, such a good idea. What's inside it? Candy? <laughs> the door's opening! Another door behind it. The door's opening, and there isn't another door behind it. Shoelace. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> I was born red. Oh, my other shoelace. Diddly did did it did it did it. No time. It's Batman. Oh my gosh. Thank heavens you're here. Got an escapee, huh? Don't worry. I'll get on it. But first, if you can stand aside, we need to... Me and my friends here have a doozy of a problem, and you're just the guy to solve it. What with your obvious costume building prowess. No, sorry. I just need to... See, we've ordered a life-size Balrog for our role-playing session this weekend, but only part of it appears to have <laughs> turned up. It's actually very important that we... If you could just find where that other truck has gotten to and put it all together for us, well, we would do anything for you. Does that include shutting up and letting us past? Well, sure. <sighs> Fine. Hold this. Batman? Barbara. What are you...
are you doing here? Wait, is that the Phantom Zone for Megaphone? It's a Megaphone! See how it's making my voice louder? <laughs> Must be something wrong with it. Grappling hook. Code Red. Batman and a child accomplice are attempting to infiltrate Arkham Asylum. Return to your cell immediately. Hey, Bats. What brings you to Arkham Asylum? This and the speed wagon. Oh, the Phantom Zone projector? You're not going to banish me to the notorious space prison that houses all of the universe's greatest villains? Are you? Oh no, that's it. That's his plan. Well, I would have put it more succinctly like this. Wait, Batman, don't do it. That's what he wants. <laughs> yes. Woo! That's what I call saving the city again. Oh, you are an inspiration, Batman. I can't believe you did this. You're welcome. I've got to arrest you now. You know that? Yeah, I've got to arrest you too. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Officers, take this projector to the evidence room and keep it under 24-hour armed guard. Hopefully we can figure out how to get the Joker back. Get him back? He's safe in the Phantom Zone, Barbara. What's the worst he can do? Come on, what's the worst that can happen? So we're all agreed that if I can break you out of here, then you'll help me defeat Batman, yes? Very well. <laughs> Exterminate! He means affirmative. Uh, but how will you liberate us from this infernal prison? Leave that to me. Surprisingly upbeat music for a prison. Going up, ma'am? No, but you're going down! Smash! Smash! Export options. Release all inmates. Are you sure? Yes, I am! Please don't. Releasing all inmates. Oh my. took the Phantom Zone projector. I knew it. That's right. I'm here to finally take over Gotham City. And to prove to Batman once and for all that I really am his greatest enemy. Not my greatest enemy. But in order to do that, I'm going to need a little help from my friends. Yeah. Not those old, flame old regular robes I used to hang with. Hey. What? I feel very conflicted about that. No, I got me some top drawer. Grade A evildoers, y'all. <laughs> what a crew, huh? And they all work for me. Now all that's left is for me to rub it in Batman's face. Hey, Sauron! Your flaming eye has the unique ability to peer through time and space. Any thoughts on the Batcave's secret location? Give me a second. <sighs> if I let you out, Batman, it's on one condition. Name it. You can't recapture the Joker by yourself. Fine. So, who am I working with? Me. And me! Can I go back in the cell? Sir. What the? How did you? Alfred Pennyworth, at your service, ma'am. Sir, the Joker's at Wayne Manor. We need to get that projector. If we can get to my 
friend's office at Wayne Tower. Mm -hmm. I can... Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can master build us a sweet black and very dark gray ride to get it. Whoa there, Kamish. We need to do something about that outfit first. Boom. Whoa! Better. I get to go see Dad One's work! Yay! Ah! Mission aborted. I need air support units near Antenna 12 to get there ASAP. Here it comes. is a bridge. They've got eye on us. Don't you mean eyes? No, just the one. But it's really big. Build a new bat wing. Second priority, take out that eye. Ha! Ouchie! Okay, new first priority. Wayne Tower has storm shutters. If we close them, we can... We can move around without being seen. That still counts as my idea. We can't let that thing see us. Don't forget about all the monsters. They're hunting us too. Well, you're just a ray of sunshine, aren't you? Time to deal with that eye. And I just got an idea. You're gonna fly straight at that thing. Your idea is a game of chicken? Not quite. Didn't 
crash. Good. I would have missed you guys, because naturally, I would have survived. <laughs> okay, guys. Listen up. Taking the projector from the Joker is going to be our most dangerous mission yet. So salvage whatever you can from the scuttler. Come on, I said to. Good idea. I got snowshoes and sunscreen. We'll only need one of those. Hmm, this might come in handy. Shark repellent, inflatable pants. What the? What are you doing? It won't open. <laughs> this is for your own good. No! You can't do this on your own! Grappling hook. But we're a team now! We're dead! How did he even redecorate this place so fast? Hello, oh, Batman! What happened to your friends? I don't need friends. I don't need anyone. You know what, Bats? For once, I think you might be right. What? In fact, I've decided there's someone that I really need to cut out of my life. And who's that? Take a guess! Wait... Everybody! Oh. Let's go and blow up the energy plant! Hey, grab a bomb on the way out! Go! Yeah, go, go! Zone, bad guy. What are you talking about? I'm Batman. I was sent here by mistake. You're not a bad guy? Don't be ridiculous, no. Okay, let's check your file. Please, by all means. By the way, I realized that sounded like I was going to immediately pull up a screen or something, but your file's actually somewhere else. Code Red, Batman and a child's accomplice are attempting to infiltrate Arkham Asylum. Ooh, that's not good. You put that kid on the next jet to the orphanage. And that wasn't nice either. You mean nothing to me. That doesn't do you any favors. Those were all taken out of context. You even abandoned your friends. Abandoned? No. No, I was trying to protect them. Well, why don't you see how that turned out? I need to get down there and stop this. Well, I don't understand. You left those people behind, and now you want to save them? Yes. Yes, of course I do. I can fix this. I'll do whatever you want. You've just got to let me go down there and save them. Well... And I'll send back all the villains that escaped on your shift. Okay, I'm convinced. Having failed to tempt it down, experts have reconvened to discuss other options. Chad? <laughs> Thanks, Stacy. In other news, the group of terrifying no. villains which have plagued Gotham... Wrong mood, Chad. ...plagued Gotham have returned from Wayne Island with the intention of blowing up the power station again. And with it, the city. With so much at stake, we're forced to ask, where are you, Batman? Oh, apparently he's there. Robin, you're with me. Yes! We'll concentrate on the bad guys down here and defusing those bombs. Batgirl! Wait, 
so I don't get to choose my own name? You get up to the roof and deal with that crazy wizard. Okay. Good luck, you two. Over my destroyed Horcrux! <laughs> Those incompetent simpletons! You! Prepare to meet your maker! Your muggles will never defeat me! that in the future, that'd be nice. Bloods. I will attempt this task myself.
attack! I shall deal with you myself. We all did it. As a team. Huh? Oh, very touching. But I've got two 
words for your team. Back up plan! stupid label on this relationship. At least this way I'll go out knowing I'm your greatest enemy. Shut up. You're not my greatest enemy. Yeah, you've been very clear about that. You're more than that. You're the reason. You're the reason I pushed myself so hard to fight you costumed freaks. And if it wasn't for your crazy town plan, I never would have learned how connected I am with all of these people. And the one I'm most connected to is you but if this city is destroyed today there won't be any more batman and joker so help me save gotham city help me save us you said us what do you say joker you had me and shut up now pull <laughs> Batman, did you really mean it when you said I was your greatest enemy? Yeah. I'll fight you for the rest of my life, you deranged lunatic. That was beautiful! Sorry, will you guys accept me back as your friend? <laughs> Wait, are we just gonna let these criminals go? Let's face it, Kamish. Those guys are no match for us. We'll give them about a 30-minute head start. 